Hey, this is Chris Hansen with E1 Solutions. I'm one of our senior technical consultants. And today we're going to look at a specific example of the multi-source that I covered in Smart Connect a few weeks ago. Now, we've already talked about it in general, um, but there's a couple of use cases that I ran into where I've already found it to be extremely helpful um, dealing with clients or even showing off the functionality on trainings um, and what they can do with that. So what we're going to look at today is the ability to go ahead and use this data source type to import a file of records and it's only going to import the new ones. Um, it's going to skip all the ones that currently exist in the system. Now you can set that up with current maps um, before this feature but normally you would find some kind of error um, for the records that did exist that got kicked out or you'd have to write your own code in a restriction to go ahead and look this up. Um, so this is going to do all that without needing the code, without getting the errors, um, once we get it in place. So to do so, I'm going to set up my vendors map on here. Just do a new vendors map. And my data source type will be the bulk load, and then it will be the multi-source underneath that to pick the correct type. So the first file I'm going to choose on here is just my Excel file, because that's where I've got my data located. So I'll just point this out directly to the workbook. And when I pull up sheet one, when I hit preview, um, there should only be five records in here. And based on the IDs and the names I've got listed, um, what I expect to happen when I've got this completed is the first two records and the last one are ones that will still show up to be imported, whereas these two near the middle are going to be excluded since they're already in GP. I pulled that directly from their tables on there. So that looks good so far. So that's the first half of it, setting up the Excel source. The second side is actually setting up the query to go ahead and connect to the um, vendor master table uh, within GP. So I'm going to go ahead and use the ODBC connection and I'm just going to go ahead and connect directly to my SQL server in my database here. Alright, I'm going to point it at TWO, the Fabricam database. And on here, I'm just going to do a select, um, I'm not going to pull everything in there, I'm just going to select the, the um, vendor ID. Well, let's start with everything. We'll say select star from PM00200. Should get me all my vendors. And really the only thing I should need to compare is the vendor ID. Um, so instead of pulling back that entire set of data, I'll just pull back all vendor IDs. Um, it's a small change in the, the code, um, but it's going to save you a bit of time because you're not pulling back data that you don't need. Because um, you don't need to see all the data that's in there. All we want to know is if that ID is already in place. Um, if you needed to compare more fields than just the ID, then you could go ahead and, and grab the, um, other values as well, besides just this one here. Um, but this is doing what I want it to as well. So I'm going to save that. So now I've got both an Excel file that's got all my, my entire vendor list, and then the SQL list is the list of existing IDs on there. So I'm going to hit this Modify option um, so I can tell it how to join those two together. Um, so normally what you'd do if you were writing freehand SQL is you'd write a not exist statement. Um, you can't do that through the Query Builder, so what we need to do is a left join, and then our where clause ends up being slightly different on here. So I'm going to join the vendor ID from my Excel file over to my vendor ID from um, that's already in my SQL tables. And I'm going to right click on it and make it a left join. So we're pulling everything from Excel where it finds a match or where it doesn't on there. I'm going to select everything from my Excel file. I'm going to select just the vendor ID from the SQL table. And then down at the bottom here I'm going to add criteria where I'm going to say um, we're going to say that one is null or we're going to say it equals um, an empty string on here. So GP doesn't use null, so I probably don't need this portion of it, um, but this would just complete it um, the way I'd want it to. So now what it's going to do is it's going to pull everything from the Excel file where, um, joined to the SQL table, where that vendor ID doesn't exist. So if it does find a match and it completes the join, it's going to exclude that row from the data set. Um, so when I flip over to my data tab on here, now all I have is the new vendor um, 1, 1, and 3. I forgot to change the ID on one of those rows, otherwise it would have worked out fine on here. And then I do have one extra column on there, and that's only because back on my SQL tab, I forgot to unmark that field as output um, on there. So once I do that, now I should have exactly the data I want. I can go ahead and preview from here again. I get just vendors 1, 2, and 3. Um, and yeah, that restricted out the two that were already in there. And of course, 
you'd use probably more complex files than what I've got on here, but this should illustrate the point, and you guys will be able to go ahead and take this and apply it to other scenarios that you run across. Thanks for swinging in for the Tech Tuesday. Um, I'll be back with another one sometime in the future. Thanks.